Hey all, Julio Steinlager here. So we're back and what we want to go ahead and do today is we want to go in and uh, do some fini some work on our caves here. And let's start that by working on a path here. So we can Let's go ahead and make some cobblestone stairs and make some cobblestone stairs. I think this will be the right look for us here. And let's kind of got a straight path here just about. Try that again. Like this. And we'll work our way up the mountain here, edging in a little bit by a little bit. Putting them right side up. and facing the right direction. So it, it's been a uh, little bit since I made a uh, Let's Play video. I have been having system issues. Um, the, it's um, I ha been uh, trying really hard not to you know record anything or uh, play anything until I got the recording going so um, there is a little bit you missed but not much um, uh, most any of that was just um, uh, a little bit of uh, derping around with fences um, in the village and uh, coming out of the mines so we should, I'm not quite liking this going up to go, uh, tell me what you guys think. Should I uh, terraform this and drop the um, uh, entrance to this down so it's ground level here? Or should I uh, put stairs all the way up to here so you go up and then back down? Uh, go ahead and uh, make some comments and let me know what that should be like. Um, but um, what it really, um, I want to get this um, built out so it's kind of a usable space. Uh, I figure this will be a good storage room here. Uh, we'll put in a nice floor. Uh, kind of go with the natural um, uh, stone on the walls. Um, we'll pat patch out that dirt with some smooth stone. And uh, got a kind of a plan for the floor texture here if I can uh, get the pattern right. That ain't it. Haven't yet play, played this pattern out in creative mode or anything like that. So uh, hopefully this isn't too much stumbling along figuring it out. And then here. And that should go, uh, I can't see it to reach, like that, and like that, and 
so on and so forth. So, yeah. And for these holes here, I'm kind of th hoping that this will do the right look here. I think that's looking good. Kind of giving a little bit of a woven um, pattern to it. At least that's the intent. I think I did myself wrong there by filling in those holes. I think that works. All right, and so we got that started. The other thing, um, we need to get some rock cooking. We'll put in some charcoal and get that cooking up. And let's, let's see, let's start with um, just some sample material. I want to build a um, kind of an elevated uh, walk and I'm not quite sure what material I'll want to be using so I want to do a little bit of experimenting with stuff. Uh, let's try that. So kind of the idea is We'll either come out like this. And... We can make a little uh, edge walk like that. Or the other thing I was thinking is that we would do it with uh, upside down stairs and the tone is a lot better. Um, oh, that was the wrong angle. The stairs are going to be a lot more of a, a lot more problematic to set on there. Hmm. I'm thinking the stone half slabs are the way to go. So let's go ahead and uh, make a good selection of those. And that's uh, uh, enough to start. And let's come around and we'll make our uh, sidewalk here, our side of the mountain walk. some more on our here and once we get this uh, out here as a waste we can uh, go in and uh, chisel out a couple uh, rooms into the 
hillside right about like here actually this right here be a prime location how much space do we have on the other side looks like we got lots of room to dig in and we'll start out just by making you know, little small rooms um, kind of the idea is we'll have the rooms here and uh, put the villagers in there and they'll be able to crawl around anywhere on the hillside and uh, be ca cave dwellers on the uh, side of the mountain. Okay, so let's uh, make a few sticks and get some torches. Yeah, let's see. I, I think that once I put a door in there, that'll qualify for the villagers. And then later we can put an, another row just up there and basically have um, little apartments in the um, sky. This is going to be tricky. We'll come in like this. Let's go around and look to see how this looks from below. Kind of uh, ruined my path up here. Yeah, we need more for that. Go ahead and make ourselves some ladders. That way we can get up nice and easy. I hear piggies coming to visit. All right, so actually, what do we look like down here? Right about here honestly would be a good spot yeah okay, we'll make this kind of go a little bit uh, straighter Out of the way, Picky. Mm -hmm. 
You can get pickaxed in the head. There we go. Nice way up. Clear out some of that cobble in the in the near future. Hmm. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Doesn't quite look natural. Maybe we need to build that all out with a smooth stone ledge. Dig it into the mountain more maybe? So, but that's definitely not working. Not happy with that. So, if we wanted to head go a deeper into the mountain. We cut this away. And, you know, that's a little bit more of what would be naturally done. We could do a little bit of cutting away, a little bit of placing of smooth stone. So let's try uh, setting that in some smooth stone there and see how that looks when we go down. Make that look a little bit more natural, curving up. And so let's go take a look at that and see how that looks. looking a lot better. It needs, uh, I'll have to do a little bit of texturing underneath it to make it look more like a natural ledge. But I think we're, we're on to something. Let's get rid of this nasty cobble. Okay, so can come around under. Ah, oh, that wasn't it. May just have to dirt pill pillar up there and stick some in. And I say we go ahead and peel it away here. let's go ahead and right here let's carve ourselves in a little bit more and we do a little bit more um, working with negative space than positive get rid of these half slabs that aren't um, meeting the appearance here And 
And there we go. The walkways on this should be uh, precariously narrow. Um, almost seeming dangerous. So I think we got dangerous down here. And we'll just go ahead and carve a walkway around this mountain here. Just like that. And let's go ahead and turn this into a room right here. here. joining rooms. Okay, so let's put some stone back right there. And we're going to have this one come over just like this. And it, we're going to have a window right there. We'll have the wall come in a little, one more further. Raise the roof so there's some room in here. And push the back wall back a little bit. Let's go see how this is looking from down below. Doo -doo. Yeah, that's going to be good. Little path going around. And there will be a couple layers of that. And we'll put some more ladders here and there going up. So. So yeah, that's definitely um, heading the right way here. Let's get some chests in here. We'll get some, so we have some storage. Yeah, let's see. And the other thing I want wanted to do is I wanted to go check on uh, the villagers, see how they're doing. Um, I've started putting a little bit of fence around uh, their place and I figure I'd just go out there every so often with a few sticks and of uh, fencing and um, you know put it up and uh, eventually I'll get them all fenced in and get it lit, lit up so it's uh, protected from at least zombies and whatnot. So I think we got some things going on here. I'm really excited about you know getting some Breeding started with the villagers. Get more of them. Okay. 
and that ain't it. Have to make sure we get that so they can't wander out and zombies can't wander in. I think that's a big trick is keeping um, them from wandering out. All right, well, a little bit closer. Having a little villager confab in here. Looks like they're safe and sound. I'll come back with a little bit more fence. I almost have it encircled and we'll see how uh, everything goes. So, well guys, uh, until next time, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.